Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Chris Rovick, the Executive Program Manager for the Drage Trucks. Right, for the port portal project at, uh, at Toyota. At the Shell Eco Marathon, we saw a similar vehicle. It was the T660. You referred to it as the Alpha truck. Right, so that was our proof of concept truck. So right. the, we wanted to basically see was it possible to power a heavy duty truck with, uh, with two Mirai powertrains. So, so we developed that truck and we've driven it uh, well over 10,000 miles in the ports. And then you called Kenworth and they said, eh, we don't make that truck anymore. Well, that, that was the T660's uh, discontinued model, so this is the... Now uh, you got the Alpha st on steroids. Right, so this is a T680, uh -huh. uh, which is a, a newer truck, uh, their newer platform, and this is uh, our uh, second uh, truck, so this is a prototype, uh, I'd say more than a proof of concept. Because you've got two more tanks on this truck. That's right, so this, uh, this has uh, additional storage, this increases the, the range to about 300 miles. And you have a sleeper bed. Which we wanted to show the flexibility that mm -hmm. in, in this particular truck we have the ability to have you know the extended hydrogen capacity and still have room extended room for uh, uh, for the driver as well. It's, there's there's two ports because mm -hmm. this truck and the first truck are um, using two Mirai powertrains. Basically, the systems are kind of isolated from each other at that point, so you refuel them separately. And if I remember correctly, there is something using fuel cell in one drage truck takes the equivalent of about 440,000 vehicles off the road of emissions. Well, yeah, it, it's a complicated combination. It depends on a lot of things. So these trucks basically are driving full time, right? right. So they're they're essentially 100% utilized, right? So if you think of a, of a car, a car isn't necessarily uh, being used 100% of the time. But yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a significant uh, reduction. So how many drage trucks are there in the Port of Los Angeles and Long Beach? It depends on a given day, uh, probably north of 15,000 trucks per uh, per day so just in those ports. This could be a hefty release for emissions Absolutely. if you changed all of these to fuel cells. Absolutely. Do you get any kind of benefit from uh, having these? Does Toyota get a benefit from having these type of trucks? If we can, if we can do a Mirai, you know, a, a sedan, and we can do this, basically the largest uh, over-the-road truck, a Class A truck in the U.S., then basically with fuel cell technology, you can you can fill um, that entire space kind of between those bookends. Okay, but Chris, this is a truck. Toyota doesn't really have this uh, this size truck as part of their That's cafe. Correct. So they're not going to get any kind of credit for CAFE. Why are you doing this other than just to show that you can do it? Well, there, there's many things. I mean, there's the, there's the scale. Mm -hmm. um, so these trucks use a lot more hydrogen. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, one truck uses two stacks. So um, when you increase the, the number of fuel cell stacks that you're making, and when you increase the amount of hydrogen that's being consumed, uh, the cost of those components comes down. And that helps, you know, alleviate, um, you know, or, or you know, allows us to offer more choices to the customer maybe at the lower end because of the, the commodities, uh, the scale benefit. Chris, thank you very much. Sure, my pleasure.